Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a brand new game to the channel, Ostrov. It just released on Alpha. Nah, just joking. No, you didn't click on the wrong episode. This is, what is this, number eight? Anyway, I had a crash built up into the save to the point where I couldn't play it no matter what. I sent in the crash log and, and the, the save file and and uh, he went through it and said that the problems I was having should be corrected by patch 3, which came out this morning. So sat down to play again, and one of the problems that had caused the crash was I was trying to delete that cow pasture that we had just built to move it to a new place. And each time I did that, it would crash it. And that was corrected. But the second thing is that well up there at the far north that we decided not to use, um, I had wanted to move it to the back end of the queue since we couldn't demolish it, just so shove it to the end, and that would crash it too. So some things had built up, and that one did not correct with patch 3. So I think the safest thing to do is just to start over with a brand new game save. And that's fine, because there's, you know, I've learned so much since the very first episode, so we can do this smarter, and do it more efficient, and uh, do things from the beginning that I only learned toward the end. Anyway, I'm trying to remember, we were on this map before. I think Murphy's on this map, and I'm trying to remember which one Pete Storm is on. I want to say he's on this one too. Um, Vapa is on this one, right? Because that's the bend in the river where the rocks are and and that was completely devoid of reeds so that his little guy is having to run all the way over here to uh, to get reeds i'm gonna go with that one because i want rocks on my map too <laughs> um was a lot of folks they're just having a, a where the get together down there anyway i want to show you something on this map here yeah this is the one the vape is using i get reeds right here Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> so this map's been updated a little bit uh, since uh, since it was first released. In fact, I think there was mention um, more reeds on the first map. Yeah, so he corrected the problem that this was all empty of reeds. Vapa has to head all the way down here to get that first reed. And I think, um, let's see here. I think Razor's Edge was also using this map because I remember him throwing a bridge across here so he can use the reeds in this corner. So, yeah, I've got one up on both of them now. Anyway, um, let's do this map. I like the, the look of this. And that forest is dense enough. It should last for a good long time without having to worry about trying to relocate. And, you know, the other one I was going to throw a, another uh, uh, forester in at another place, uh, assuming that we will have built out to that place by then. But I think this would last us for probably as long as this series is going to last. Because I would imagine every two or three updates or patches that come through, we're going to want to uh, restart and see all the new stuff anyway. So, get these guys going. Let's get a Forester in there. That's always the first priority. And let's rotate so that the business end is out here. And what? The Forester is the one that actually takes down the trees. So when you build something and there's trees involved, it'll say five trees need to, need to be taken out. So the forester will go over and take care of that. They'll walk over there and take those trees out before they'll continue taking out the rest of the forest. Problem is, until the forester is built, there's no forester. So there's nobody to take out that one tree. So you can't put a tree into the, in the way of the forester. I want to tuck this deeper in. One more. Come on. Where is that one? Right there. Uh, okay. What is our... I guess it's about like that. But let's let's spin you a little bit here. T. Like so. Let me get a little bit of a better perspective here. No, I, I like it where it was. Something like that. Tucked in between those two trees there. Alright, you're going there. And we're on one speed. Now I can take it up to two speed. Thank you there. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, and space bar. Does your, your pause over there. It's a little keyboard shortcut. Um, forestry. Let's get all four of the main supply sources in. So there's no question about that. Let's go with the smithy. And I'm going to take you off into this area. Though the business end is where rotate you a little bit and front door 
is inside of there. So that's the orientation right there. Now let's zoom out a little and try to get this pretty much parallel. So another tat that way, right there. That looks pretty good. Up on this little uh, this little hill up in here. I kind of like that. I don't mind taking the trees down. We don't need this thing till right about the end of the ninth house is when you start to run out of nails. So he can be up in here a little bit and these guys will come and take out those trees. No problem there. Um, lots of stuff going in. Yeah. Next one, thatch. So right in here, thatch, 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 right there. Thatchery. Somewhere near the reeds. And I see the door is on our side there. Also, notice that as you pull up each next building, it's going to be at the same rotation as the one you just built. So he's sitting here a perfect match to this guy. So that allows you to get a straight line of something. If you you know if you keep that in mind, clicking on the uh, the next one that's going to be the same alignment. You shouldn't have to to spin it around to try to match things. Assuming the door is in the right position. But this door is right here, which allows them to come down, go in, and then go out to the reeds, and then go back in. So that's a good position for that. And I'm thinking this little depression might look good for clay. So let's get this guy kind of up in here. And clay, that's our fourth resource. Down in here somewhere. And the door to the thatch is right there. So let's have the door to the clay somewhat in that same area, same uh, orientation there. All right, clay is there. And for that matter, what I didn't do in the first map, you can have clay, as many clay as you want. And the more you've got, the more convenient it is. In fact, we were needing clay to get onto this project over here, weren't we? So, boy, we've got a wagon train going on there. Yeah, they're excited about that. And these guys... One more tree. Who's... What? No forester to remove trees. Oh, I thought that maybe they had taken down some of the trees. But those are boards that have been brought over. Okay, let's hire a couple guys in here. In fact, I hire three to begin with. And that until we start seeing our, our wood built up, it'll show right here to, you know, maybe 150 or so. Give us a big boost so we can do nothing but deliver wood to all the different building sizes that come in. All right, so we got thatch. We've got the smithy. Now let's think about some houses. And I want to do this far different than I did last time. Now this is the same orientation, but the door's on the opposite side. No, I spun that around. Did I spin that one around? Anyway, this is now the same orientation as the clay pit, not as what we were doing over there. Let's rotate him like so. And now, something I wanted to take a look at. Something I noticed in one of Pete Storm, back his very first episode, he did something that surprised me. And it seemed to work. And I did not know it was part of the game. But I've never gone back to verify that. So let's do some verifying. I build houses for all the families in the camps. Yeah. So year in... We need to employ one person here when we get there. We do not need to employ anybody there for quite some time. So we'll save our workforce. But one thing that he did, one of his first houses, he went through, hit a tree, and hit protect. And then, let's see, let's do these four over here, or these three. Protect you, protect you, protect you. And then he dropped a house so that those were within the, uh, the boundary of that. And it looked like, well, he, he clicked on one. He did that to one. And it looked like it stayed. But we weren't sure because it built right into the fence line. So was that just, you know, part of the, you know, right next to the graphic or was it actually inside? So let's dig into this a little bit. Deep like that. Eight trees. When we're done, we should have that one and those three remaining. If that is actually a case. If it's not, then we'll disprove it right now and it'll just be a coincidence that there was a house right again, right into the fence line and that's all that it was. We've got two workers ready to put all these guys in so they are on their way I'm assuming. Here they go. We'll watch this build a little bit then we get some more houses going. So there's our foundation walls. This is the smithy so it's a building with a big roof over here. So we get all the posts in turn my volume up a little yeah I get nothing if I think of it maybe this time I'll pop some uh, quiet music in the background 
Let's see if that's uh, if that's something that's easy to do. I'm recording this kind of later at night, I'm trying to get something to post to the channel tomorrow, because today I had nothing. I, I spent an hour, well, well, a couple hours trying to make this. Uh, yes, today's episode happened and it didn't, so we'll make up for it here. Anyway, putting all the clay in, so think of stucco walls or masonry walls. And they're ready to take a break. Okay. Over here, we're doing what? Only four wood in. So we're taking it out as fast as we're making it, even with three workers. But after they get ahead of the curve, three is going to be too many for here. But it's a good starting number. Um, so next, house over here. And they are delivering to it already. So think of the queue as more of a guideline than a than a a law. <laughs> it's like the pirate code. <laughs> it's uh, whatever's convenient, they will do some things out of order if it's closer. Now, you are the thatchery, so we're already starting to get some things down there, but even bef after, you know, before that's finished, they're dropping things off over here. And these guys, I believe, are going to prioritize seven trees left. They're going to prioritize taking these trees down instead. As long as we don't have 12 logs stored here, and, and then they're no, you know, they're done taking down uh, down trees. All right, more houses. Once we get a few of these things laid out, now this should be the same orientation, rotation, as before. So just trying to align the back end there. Two, I think that's enough. I want to do what Pete Storm did. He did groups of two and space. Groups of two and space. The idea of a long row of houses just means they got to walk a long way to get around and out all the different directions. So I'm seeing some maps doing that and others doing them in just random places. And the random places seem to be the most efficient. You need gaps. Uh, so let's... Hmm. And something else I just saw on Murphy's episode today. Well, yesterday for you guys. Today for me. He popped back into the decorations and was talking about the arches when he f built his trader. And by bringing that up, it, it reminded me. Let's, see, let's go to the small one. It might look good actually using this in places. Like if we were to set you, you're still parallel because we haven't rotated anything. I'm thinking that is the edge of the property about there. No, let's use the big one. Well... I'm thinking if I leave space for narrower roads this time, we'll get less of the of the of the spider drift. All the diagonals kind of intersecting at each other instead of just being forced to walk down the same narrow path so that we get roads that actually start to look like roads. So if I force them down smaller pathways and make this the entrance to the pathway. All right, so that house there. And from here, we're going to put another house here. And that's going to be kind of a, oh, a little town entrance sort of thing there. I kind of like that. Um, house, you can go in here, but we do need to rotate you around. And again, I do wish that these would snap a little more to uh, grids. Kind of like when you're building f fences for the, uh, the fields and you're coming off of an existing field as you stretch out, it does snap to straight matching the other field. Be nice if these would snap to north, south, east, west, but then be able to rotate beyond but they would give you a clear indication where that is. Now you, I want there. I'm going to have to disable the snapping this time. But I need to get a parallel, and that does look pretty good. Probably about as good as we're going to get. Okay, so parallel, and you're going to be right there. Yeah, so two or three houses in this area. And In fact, I've got to remember to hold that shift down. All right, so there... And make you fairly parallel, or perpendicular. Okay, right there, and one more. And what's the contour? Oops, that's not the, the right key. We're dropping down a hill here. What's that look like? Maybe we'll make the pathway right there. And get the house more on the same... You know, we can see the, the ground takes a dip right there. If we get the house a little bit lower in... All right, so in that case, let's grab another fence, uh, arch, small arch. Rotate you in this direction. In fact, let's just make you pretty well parallel to this one. 
I think that works. I'm not gonna get them exact. It's really hard to, to get it down to that one degree. All right, you're in there. You're gonna hit somewhere right in there. Does that demolish? It does. Let's go with the larger one there. This is gonna take off, I'm thinking, to the farm area. Maybe that should be the larger one. Um, decor and big arch. Yeah, I think so. So you're gonna go here. Right there. And that gets us a little further down this hill so the next house can drop in like so. But we ro rotated everything for these guys, so we're off on a rotation here now. All right, so hold the alt, and I can kind of get a sense of, let's see, T? Nope, too much. I wonder if zooming in changes the amount of movement. Not really. Just trying to figure out all the little nuances. Right there. Okay. You're in. So we've got... Stalled. What have we got? Removing trees. Okay. And you, removing trees. That's fine. So I assume that these guys are removing trees. <laughs> Just wait here for a little bit. You're going back to work. You got to check into headquarters and then take off to do what? Waiting for your partner to arrive so that both of you can go out. Because it takes two guys to, to haul a, a tree back in. So you are... You got to go to the entrance of the job site. That's interesting. You got to go to the front door of the, of the gate that hasn't been built yet. <laughs> anyway, while they are stalled over here, they are progressing on the next one. That's good. Okay. So with that, kind of get a sense here. House, 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 house house then turn I think so so we want a pathway now that does what well something like that and we'll go back to the little one right there <clears throat> then house all right rotate you around that's not it something like that Hold the Alt, head in, try to track something. So, R. Boy, let me get a little bit closer. All right, like so. Alt, and try to make my fingers stretch across the keyboard. That looks pretty good right there. All right. Try to end up with a town that's somewhat square. Okay, Alt to break that grip because it's conflicting and hold the shift this time there uh, let's get rid of the alt that's what I want and hold the shift two of them do we do a third uh, one two three four five six up there no one is built so seven this will be number eight okay this way comes across like that. All right, we'll do three in a row this time, like so. And so just to verify, seven, eight. So one more. What would look good, and what would be efficient? Right here. That could work. We're going through there. We're going through here. I don't know. Let's let this build a little bit. Let's get a, a more of a sense of foundations and whatnot to see it. To get fences in there. Um, otherwise, I also want to do something like this. Something that I saw Vapa doing. I didn't realize would work. Now, our series, we were starting to get the carts spread out and about to make it a little more easy for people to grab uh, transportation and move things around what I didn't know is that you could grab a cart from an existing one and move it to another one we can't build carts for this yet those roofs look good together 
And we'll do that. So, but we can say I want this cart to be, well, this cart to be re relocated to that one right there. It's going to relocate. He just went and grabbed it. And he's going to go drop it off. So now we have one cart available for someone to run down here, grab it, get clay, and go and do it and drop it off again. Now, it'd be nice to also get a cart probably up and around these guys. Thatch, I never got you employed. Let's get you employed. So a cart up in here, and there's a birch tree. Let's protect the birch tree. Yeah, this one too. Uh, right there. And protect. Yeah, cute little thing. Okay. Those will... Where do we put one more cart? Parking. We have them right here, but I think this is going to go away. In fact, most everything in here will go away and we'll come up with a new town center. But parking out here... I want to say all of the major business like areas. You know, where are they getting the wood? Where are they getting the clay and thatch? So, yeah, one clustered here, one clustered here. And then one out at the farm, one at the trading. You know, all the major... Uh, uh, regions of this of the town so let's now transport right there this guy and he looks good with this but he's I want to put it right where the tree is and speaking of tree we got to go check that very first build there but uh, I don't think I want to put him this far in hmm. okay well let's rotate him around there's the front and parallel that looks pretty good. If you sat here, would it be a problem? You can see the pathways. They're not using this end. All right, he goes there. And the roofs match too, which makes it look good. So let's grab this one and drop it into there. Which she is uh, one. You are a she, right? You're Lena. I've never seen the women use the carts. Is that a change in this patch? See, one frustration is that the ladies will only carry, hand carry at point one of an item, whereas the men will grab the carts and, and bring one, or in this case two, of an item. So if the ladies could use the carts, then we can really make things more efficient in here. I don't know if that's new or not, or if I just have never noticed it. So we'll have to keep, we'll have to track that one. Um, what else? We get the cart spread around. Um, we're going to want water, probably out in this area. In fact, maybe that's what actually happens in this corner. You know, if I look at it from this way, I can make make this out a lot better. We could water in here, maybe like so, or out in here. Let's pop a well in here. Though, let's not do it yet. I don't want to mess up the... Uh, am I still on? Let's go back to two. Mess up the queue. Or uh, fill up the queue so fast. So let's continue as we were doing. Logs are all coming in. Now this one right here is the one that we had protected the trees. And it did not work. Okay, there should have been one here and three right back over here. And it did not happen. So what I saw on Peach Storm's map, it looked like a tree. It was over on this side and it was right inside of the fence post. Like it was, you know, like maybe he had positioned the, the house wrong and I thought it was going to be deeper in, but instead it was just right on the edge. But it looked like it was inside the fence post. That's why I thought he was really onto something. But I see now that uh, ore that has been corrected and is no longer part of the game. That was clear back at uh, the original uh, game file, not, uh, not any of the patches. All right, so we're starting to see this layout a little bit better. So where does our ninth house go? And then we can start placing other things. All right, so there's those. One, two, three. I don't want to do more. I want another road here. In fact, let's just establish that right now. Right there. Small or big? We got a big taken off that way. We should probably have a big taken off this way. Let's go for big. Heck, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have done that there, but 
Now, if they're coming in from here, they can take that right path just as easy as this one. Okay. So rotate you around till we've got something that probably parallels this guy. Probably about as close as I'm going to get, huh? All right, you pop in like so. I don't know my forward and backward. I noticed that when I was setting this to here, the orange was not really showing the fence. Yeah, I guess it. I guess the orange does go right to the fence. Okay. So if we were to drop you, I wanted to make it look like it's almost part of the corner post of the fence. So we'll do that. Okay. And I'm noticing the autosave is, is happening quite often. I had, re I had set it to every 15 minutes instead of every five, but I have since, with patch three, completely thrown it all out and brought a brand new uh, um, game down. You know, Redownloaded re everything. Before, I was just bringing down the ostrov.exe, and it should have been fine, but this time I started everything over. Um, so that there went my, uh, I assume there went my uh, settings for you know, my options. Anyway, we're still at five, six, seven, eight. So where to put one more? Is that enough for a town center? Or do we want it right here? I think I do. But let's leave a... Okay, let's do this. A little one right here. A pathway that shoots off into the forest to anything we have out on the shoreline might look good. Now before, when we started this, let me get a little closer so I can find that corner post. So something like... I see it is off a little bit. So that'll do right there. Yeah. Um, we were building just to figure things out. Now that we've got some things figured out, we can build for uh, appearance and aesthetics. What will look good? With the three houses over here, where are you? There. Might look good to have three over here too, but I want the efficiency of pathways between them wherever I can. So you can then drop into here. Okay, Alt. That looks pretty close, and but we're off on this one. So let's see if we can catch a uh, happy medium between the two. Uh, no, I can't. It's too far this way or too far that way. So I guess we'll go with these two. And you will be... All right, let me drop in where I can see things a little better. Oh, i got to hold the alt, though, because it's going to going to interfere with the uh, the arch. I can't get anywhere close to that corner. Interesting. It seems to be exaggerating a little, the orange. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, you're just going to have to be right there. All right. So that's all nine houses. And I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure we're going to get these built in plenty of time. We're still at the first week of July. So with this system, with, we never employed the thatchery? Well, that's interesting. Let's take you guys down. we got 214 wood. Let's do that. Thatchery, there you are. One reed stored. So we have had people employed. They're just kind of bouncing around. He was employed there, then he's probably running the show over here. So once that gets done, then he'll jump over here again. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But we should get all of the uh, nine houses in. Um, let's kind of watch this a little bit. In fact, we're working on this area here. I'm going to take a look at the notes here for uh, patch three. In fact, I'll read the first sentence he put in. Um, so here comes... The next batch of fixes. Still far from all, as as I write this, there's 67 more unread emails, most of which are bug reports. Hope I'll get this sorted out in the next week so I can finally get back to adding new features to the game. So, you know, he's spent years building this game in his spare time and, and now has been thrust into the world of, of uh, customer relations and... and uh, um, software support and, and you know IT and <laughs> and marketing and she really doesn't have time just to program anymore. So you know this is going to be the uh, 
you know the pattern got to uh, put out a put out a new update with new features and then got to work through all the little bugs that it introduced and and uh, deal with with all the the bug reports that come in and then finally get a chance to to work on programming again you know I've, uh, I don't, uh, I don't envy him. He's, this is, he's got the business end of this. We've got the fun end. We just get to play it. But he's got to, uh, he's got to make it work. So, added, changed. Can now store wheat and sunflower in the granary. I didn't realize you couldn't before, but I never really got that far, did I? Can now prioritize gathering over reaping on a farm. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, I guess if if you're desperate to get a certain crop gathered so you can get it sold at the trader then you can abandon that last field and get to work on gathering them okay add a progress bar in each field row in farm interface oh good so the farm interface you it looks like you'll be able to uh, uh, to see the progress from there as to how each field is doing um, slightly increase the cow birth rate added model of potato baskets in the cart. Faber was just mentioning that in today's episode, or yesterday for you guys. It was a cart coming in, but it was empty, but it was dropping off potatoes. And he said, I wish that he actually showed the potatoes in there. Well, he got his wish come true. Um, added a an option to simplify shadows for better video performance. Um, more reads in the first map. Thank you. And added an offline tool to change graphical settings without running ostrov.setting or slash settings.exe so just kind of under the hood stuff and then there's a whole list of different uh, um, bugs that were fixed with this patch so looks like there's still another patch or two coming to deal with everything else that has yet to be repaired and then he'll get into updates with more features being added to the game in fact I think what I want to do is spend time tonight or tomorrow going through all of the comments you guys have left in my my videos you know in the comment sections and kind of compile a list of all of the different ideas and requests that have been offered as to what would what would make things work better like the market stalls I'll show you one that uh, popped in market stall where do we want to put this near the houses facing the houses or facing the center how about we have a road right here how about we start to establish that road let's zoom in right here turn you i'd say to the center let's have kind of a yeah so the people are, are congregating in the middle to deal with all this okay that orientation and width wise something like that how does that look I'm off a little there, but that'll be fine. Peggy had written in and suggested that if firewood could be in this list, then they wouldn't have to go all the way out to the forestry to get firewood for their houses. I think that's a great idea. We got shoes in here and clothes, so it's not like it's only food. So, yeah, that's that's something that I would add to that wish list to, uh, to send in to see if it's something that he would want to, to alter in future updates anyway let's put what we know is going to be in here we know we're going to have fish we know we're going to have flour anything else we know potatoes will be one of the first crops we bring in eventually we'll have milk from the cows that we will eventually get which is what i was going to be showing you right now in this episode i was going to have cattle coming in and and you know just finish the cow shed and so much planned and it went away she was dried fish I've seen salt that you can buy from other towns, but I don't see the building yet that will apply the salt to the fish. You can let me know if that actually is part of some of these buildings in here that, you know, part of the, boy, I can't even imagine which one it would be. Does the tannery tan hides and dry fish? You know, I haven't built one, so I don't know. But I would imagine that's more of an update thing that's going to happen in a you know, future build of the game. Chickens, I don't get any sense of chickens being here yet. If they are, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it. Um, beef is still a long way off. To be able to buy cattle is going to be, uh, you know, we're thankful just to get that far, let alone breed them and have, uh, you know, have a whole industry going to where we can afford to slaughter them. So, I'm not seeing anything else here that's likely going to happen soon. Milk's probably the next likely thing. Although sunflower oil. 
Cather was saying this is for trading only. But if it's in here, it seems like it should be something that would go to the houses. Or maybe it's something that will go to the houses in some future update. But isn't there yet? I don't know. I would say milk or sunflower would be the next likely thing we would get into. Let's go with milk. For when the cows do arrive, there will be a place to, to use that milk. Not going to employ this yet. How are we doing otherwise? I need to be shutting this episode down. But uh, we're in the middle of August. We have got six and a half houses. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, six and a half houses built. And right, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So I didn't lose count anywhere. Good. So I think next episode we'll see whether or not we make the nine houses. And we'll lay out more. I'm going to set the farms out here. Um, and I want to do it differently. I don't want the same problems I had last time. Last time I built the farm and then started building fields and stacked them on out. And the last field would never get finished. And I want to go with smaller fields this time too. What we are using last time, we never saw more than half to maybe three quarters for the very first field ever even grow. So let's go in with more like 15s, six 15s. And I want the farm in the center and surrounded by fields. So they're all fairly equal distant to the farm and see if that model works better. I think that's going to be the model to go with. Um, windmill next to it, and the granary's got to be out over here somewhere, probably where these two tents are. But we'll figure out what else needs to be right in that immediate area. Cows, I want maybe down in here with the hay surrounding it. And that way it just seems, I don't know, more central. But we'll get into all that next time. Yeah, it's been Noble Rambler. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.